This is an expected value problem. They give it away with the word expected somewhere over there. Let's get to it. It's the fall 2021 AMC 10B problem 16. Five balls are arranged around a circle. Chris chooses two adjacent balls at random and interchanges them. Then Silva does the same with her choice of adjacent balls to interchange being independent of Chris's. Okay, getting kind of confusing, right? Let's make a picture, a circle. We'll call them one, two, three, four, five. We'll call this, actually label them one through five. Okay, those are the balls. All right, so Chris is gonna choose two adjacent. Since they're adjacent, just think of his choice as the leftmost ball going clockwise. So he could do one and two, two and three, three and four, four and five, five and one. He's got five choices. The choice that he makes, okay, she's gonna do the same with her choice being independent of Chris's. I'm gonna pick one for Chris arbitrarily, which means that uh, it, it doesn't really matter which one he picks for what we're about to do. So now I'm gonna switch two and one. Okay, that it wouldn't be any different if he had chosen any of the other ones because by symmetry, all of it would work out the same. So then what? Um, what is the expected number, that's your hint that you're doing expected value, of balls that occupy their original positions after these two successive transpositions? Okay, so Sylvia, Silva rather, I think it's Sylvia Bernardo and Sylvia from before, Silva has five choices as well. Let's just kind of explore those choices. One of them would be that she does this two and one together, therefore putting all five back in. What is the chance that she selects these two, two and one, or maybe, I don't know, yeah. So uh, then you're going to get two and one, uh, so she has a one in five chance. An expected value is the probability of an event happening times the value of that event. And you add it all up for all the probabilities with all the events. So if she does that one, there's a one in five chance, then that would put all five back in place. And that would be the number of balls that occupy would be five. So the value of that outcome is five. Next, what if she had chosen one in three? Then how many balls would be out of place? All three of these would, because the one would be here now, still not back, and three's over there, it's out of place, which would mean two of them are in place. So we could do two fifths. The chance that she chooses one of those types of scenarios is the one in three or the five in two. Either of those selections by her, which are two of her five, would result in this occurrence. So the probability of it, two fifths, times the value of it, two. Plus, the other possibility is that she chooses either of these two cases, three and four and four and five. If she chooses those, say she, she switched these, as, for instance, to four here and five here. Now how many are in their original place? Only this one. And those are the other two outcomes. So it's two out of five times the value of that occurrence, which is one. And now we're gonna have what? One fifth of five is one plus four fifths plus two fifths. 6 fifths is 1.2 plus 1, 2.2. That's how you do expected value. Where can you practice more problems like this? The intro to counting and probability near the back of it, right around one of the latter chapters, there's an expected value section. All right, we're gonna go on to problem 17.